all right guys welcome so today we're going to be jumping in and checking out rise of the ronin uh this is a playstation exclusive uh, that was announced uh, i think we've seen it last year at some point i don't remember exactly when but uh we've seen the trailer looked really really good uh definitely excited to jump in and check it out uh i know there's a lot of hype going around this game uh people claiming this game to be the next ghost of tsushima I, I don't know where all this hype or all these these rumors come from but i'm just excited to check it out i think it's going to be a lot of fun uh, so you know i, I people in chat were already saying you know people are saying the game is not as good as they thought it was going to be um i don't really have expectations for it i'm just looking for a really good game you know with a good story and uh hopefully we can enjoy this one guys so remember if you do want this to be a series and you want to see the whole game smash that like button subscribe drop comment down below let me know what you guys thought and uh yeah we'll keep it rolling so i had to um back out to the menu because every single time i started the game it kept trying to start a video and or like like a cutscene type thing i didn't know if it was something to do with the story so i just backed out the game and um when we go back in you guys will be able to see it for yourselves so uh again good morning how's everybody doing anderson what's up brother Rizal floof air and ace i appreciate you guys for all coming for hanging out all right we should be good all right let's do it guys let's do it <clears throat> Rise of the Ronin Yeah, this That was pretty cool that was pretty cool and it's with the super chat brother thank you so much man hope you're having a good day today uh, it does kind of have that ghost of tsushima menu though isn't that Rise of the Ronin is a fictional story that takes inspiration from the time expanse of Japanese. So this takes place, I think, right, uh, from the time period, it looked like right at the end of that, like, samurai era when everybody, when Japan started to, like, modernize. Three centuries ago, Japan was unified under the Tokugawa Shogunate. It closed its doors to the rest of the world, and for a time, the island nation prospered. <laughs> Yet despite its apparent tranquility, conflict brewed beneath the surface. Feudal lords known as Daimyo were kept under strict surveillance. In public, they were loyal. But the coals of discontent were slowly being fanned towards conflagration. Deep in the mountains of Kurosu, weapons were secretly forged in preparation for rebellion. 
Who's Konichi? But the Shogun's forces got wind of the plan and took terrible and bloody reprisals. Damn. <laughs> Kicking ass, dude. Under the tutelage of a master, the blades they honed their skills in pairs called blade twins. Go! Separately, formidable. Together, unstoppable. Blade twins are forever tied together by the bonds of fate. Oh, sick. Leoric Semper Fi, brother, how you doing? Oh, Anderson, the family's good, man. So, you get to choose what character you want to play as. By changing your body, you'll be deleting the current appearance profile. Yeah, sure. What? Oops. Well, now I got two of her. How the hell did I do that? There we go. Oh, they have plenty of different uh, ways you could look. I don't mind the way the original dude looks. He looks pretty cool. I thought this was going to be more of a, uh, like, linear story. I didn't know that it would actually have, like, character customization options. Like, at all. Like I said, I mean, I don't mind the way the dude looks, actually. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we'll just roll with that. He doesn't got to be anything special. Uh, as a swordman, polish the blade, so does the bladesmith sharpen the veiled edge. Choose the blade sharpening origin to determine the veiled edge's initial abilities. Select skills. What? Oh, shit. So there's different, like, classes. So killer, which is learn the way of the veiled edge, pass down generations, cut down those that stand in your way, and strike fear in your enemies. Um, recommended weapons are... Looks like couple different types of swords we have the breaker which uses swords and a gun so this one is um learn the art of ninjutsu to complete highly dangerous missions trained in utilizing various equipment and can assassinate multiple enemies at once that that already sounds dope chat um the seducer learn the art of being charismatic and charming efficient and practice movements allow for efficient key usage uh you'll also be very clever with words to deceive people 
Looks like you, they, this uh, class uses some kind of like pole arm or whatnot. We got a sapper. A wide range of knowledge required for a spy. Adapted in handling firearms and medical practice. Also excels at negotiation. We got the beginner, which is a novice with a wide range of special skills at their disposal because of unfinished nature of their training. These field edges are full of possibilities and more than others are capable of learning a multitude of special skills. That said, their lack of specialization may hold them back from unlocking their true potential. And then unsharpen uh, a weakling who's uh, inept as a result in their lack of blade sharpening origin. These veiled edges are known as the most basic of skills and have poor attributes to boot. Their ability to survive in a cruel world such as ours is surely a sign. Damn, so if you really want to go hard on yourself, chat, you can play unsharpened. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with the breaker, though. This sounds dope as hell. The, the the killer sounds more of like straight samurai. This one here, though. Yeah, let's go with this. I don't know if you can change this at all. Okay, so I get to choose who I want to play as. Follow me. What are you going to use? Um, I mean, we could go regular. Yeah, we'll just go with a regular sword. It's best to go with something that suits you. Paired swords. Um, so normal attack, advancing attack, and charged attack. Okay. Now, I think as my class, I, I use the dual swords. Okay. Yeah, that feels good. Um, and then we also have Katana. That one, eh? Be sure you take some time to get a feel for it. So to switch our primary, switch dual swords, katana. You're happy with that then? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, so here you can actually change your origin. So yeah, I'm using the dual swords and katana right now. All right, let's go. I didn't see a gun, so it didn't matter. Why are you stopping? Training or not, I won't. Oh my <laughs> Trying to do a parry. Okay, so uh, press up, then I'll use items, register, and the loadout. So we got heals here.
So martial skill R1, and then you can press to use key powerful attacks. Right, that's Rimba up, shall we? Okay, those are super strong. Okay, so their stance is the bottom blue bar. Their health is the top white bar. Veiled Edge Banner. Interact with the Veiled Edge Restore health just as well as replenish your pills. Just be warned that this will also cause the. Yo, so this is kind of like Souls like. We are here. Very, very souls like, okay. What was that granny lady? Time to begin. She got actual hands. Cross swords. And show me all you've done. I'll get the better of you this. So use a counter spark to deflect, uh, neutralize. So counter spark deflecting will cause the enemies to become temporarily panicked, opening a window of opportunity. So this is like a parry. Time. Well played. Counter spark change. You can deflect and repeated attacks the enemy using counter sparks, but please note deflecting one attack in a combo will not cause the enemy to become panicked. So rather than focus on deflecting everything, uh, it may be best to block. It's actually kind of hard. The best way to drain enemy key is to reduce their maximum key. Panicked enemies with counter spark. Okay. Um, do some martial skills to prove more effective than normal attacks. I know your every move. You'll have to do better. <laughs> then critical hit. You will fight me. I will face the both of you. Stay sharp.
the Veiled Edge two or one. Show me how well you've been prepared. You can switch control to either Veiled Edge member at any time. What? That's pretty sick. Team in this granny right now. We're team in this granny, dude. That's enough training for now. I'm assigning you a new mission. The black ships from America are anchored off the coast at Yokohama. Sneak aboard and steal the secret message in Commodore Perry's possession. And if the opportunity arises, kill Perry. Understood? A response worthy of the Veiled Edge. This is the day our clan has long prepared for, when we finally go to war with the Tokugawa. This is an order. Failure is not an option. Are you ready to head for the black ships? Let's do it. It's our first mission, chat. Good. I know you will not let me down. Now move. On demand with the 25 months, dude. Over two years. Thank you so much. How you doing today? We leave the boat here. Tim, with almost one year, man. Thank you so much, dude. Let's begin. the other. 
one. Don't forget this. So different uh, types of enemies can be identified by different overhead icons. Normal enemies, formidable foes. Bring it on. Prepare yourself. Ooh, shit. So we went from fighting with sticks to fighting with the real deal, and I, I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready to... Ah, uh, Tim, you, hey, you don't even have to split. The fact that you're a member at all, man, means the world to me, so thank you. And Melodic with the one month, let's go, dude. How you doing? And Rodney with the 15 months, Granny punching at his finest. Hey, does it count as punching though if we were hitting her with a stick? I feel like it's way different, dude. Drop down here. Crouch, you know, walk lightly. Yeah, we could do some assassinations. Approach from the back, take it slow. Practice has paid off. Child's play. Now, I know with my uh, character type that we chose, I should be able to chain assassinate, I think it said. Oh, great. Another granny beat down. <laughs> Tim with the super chat. Dude, we're not beating down no granny. That granny is... A next level Saiyan, dude. She. It doesn't count. That right, guy's watching us. Nothing we can do here except fight him. He's got a gun, too. Deflecting enemy gunfire? Oh. So you can just counter it when it shoots. That's actually kind of hard. That's sick. Oh, we got a rifle. So I know that part of my gear set was the duel in the um yep sub weapons here we go
are noisy but enable powerful attacks at range. L2 to red, R2 to shoot. Looks pretty busy. Is there another way? Come on, I was literally about to shoot that guy in the face. Fell all the way down to the bottom of the map. So the other way would have been if we would have just came and I think maybe snuck down because those barrels were here so we could have just came and went down that way. See, I see how you doing. Yeah, that gun didn't do jack shit, guys, for damage. Not as definitely souls like. Um, it's got the little the save stations like souls with the same heal uh, type thing as souls, or like an Elden Ring. There was that uh, save spot down here. I want to go to check real quick. Maybe, uh, what is that other game there? Sekiro? Using grappling hope hook in battle. Oh shit. Bring it on. Oh, 
Black ship hold key. Seen it. Ooh, we got a new weapon. Obtain a new weapon. A saber. So sabers aren't really my class play style. But it might be better than that damn gun. That's for sure. Yeah, damage wise, it's pretty big too. So I wonder if you build weapon proficiency by playing with that weapon, like using the weapon more. Mateo, with the 17 months, thank you so much. Yeah, so far so good, man. We haven't, we, we literally just started. We're on like our first little tutorial mission here. Does it feel like a Souls game? I mean, it's... The combat's definitely a bit more fluid than your traditional Souls game, at least. Um, but so far, it feels it feels good. It's hard to say. Like I said, we literally just started. So our mission objective. Oh no, that's captain's key. So we're here. This country will open up at long last. After an epic voyage, I will. For all others, fail. Blackened silver saber. What the hell is that? Okay, it's not better than the uh, this one that we got though. It's gonna be a boss fight. skills uh, you have to rely on perfectly town carnage spark deflection uh, enemy martial skills are very tricky to deflect with uh, carnage spark and some cannot be blocked by guarding for this reason dodging can sometimes be okay
Damn, I could not time that to save my fucking life right there. That's my chance to do a critical attack. I can't even get him up because of the I don't want to heal. Can't let our sister die, dude. Brian, the thing is, is there's probably people that are so good at these games that they could probably win that fight somehow. That that fight against that blue demon, they would just they would win somehow. Dude is OP as shit, man.
That was the only trace that remained. One, don't forget this. <sighs> the fuck? Flash, uh, press R1 immediately after an attack. So L2, we can throw shurikens. First dog kill, that was a freaking beast. Cuck. She has hands, chat. What the fuck? Dude, we 
you almost died. To defy the Shogun, your clan is doomed. This game reminds me a bit of, like, Sekiro. Couple hours of Sekiro. survive in these fights dude I thought for sure I was gonna die there so there's like stealth options to like bypass the enemies that we're just not doing
<laughs> really? Just That's what she said? Expected. You mean to abandon the clan and search for them? They are still alive. I have to... Have you forgotten the code? Wait, what? <laughs> Granny, really? You know I cannot let you leave. <laughs> Deserters of the clan are marked for death. You forgotten who the master is? A sorry sight. So think you survived this long. Old piece, of food. come on. This isn't what's wrong. I did not train you to hesitate. Fight with no twin. Show me all you've got. Worthy of the veiled edge. Jesus Christ, dude. And y'all try to give this granny granny immunity. She's a monster. Good timing. I need your help. The government has found us. This is the end. <laughs> Gotta watch my damn stamina. Marked for death. Come now! 
Have you forgotten who the master is? Gotta get good at the door, oh, it's gonna get shredded. with no twin. Show me all you've got. Not bad. So, you did learn something. Yeah, you definitely got to hit the you definitely got to hit the counter um a lot more in this if you if you really want to make some progress. We almost had her though. I need your help. The shogunate has found us. This is the end. No end to them. Yeah. <laughs> 
is it? Oh. Come now! Have you forgotten who the master is? Fight with no twin. Show me all you've got. since I took you in. Since I lost my blade twin, I've had to live with the pain of surviving. Go! Succeed where I have failed. Do you guys think that dude in the beginning is her blade twin? The blue mask dude?
Okay. So it seems like we might actually be out of that little tutorial. Let's see, is there a map? Okay. Okay, obviously materials for crafting. That might be an enemy. DMC with the four months. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, that was just a little entry tutorial to the game. I had, what, two bosses in it? So I don't know if this town's going to be full of bad guys, or... So public order areas occupied by troublemakers will suffer from a disruption of public order. Um, defeating all the troublemakers uh, in the unruly area will strengthen your bond with that area, allowing the inhabitants to move. Okay. So we clear out all the baddies here. One on one shot. <laughs> Oh! 
Oh, that was so he was the enemy leader. Oh, we just got a rare weapon too from him. Right here. Damn, look at the damage difference. All right, so we should automatically just be hitting different. Okay, so that was just the uh, the leader. It's like, no wonder why this dude was so damn strong. <laughs> He's down. So we just got to kill a few more guys. That guy's got a shield. I wonder if they're gonna split up. So now we can focus the guy with the shield. Damn, we needed these swords earlier, dude. All right, there's one more guy here we gotta kill. Done. Yeah, so we cleared this area out. It turned into an actual town. I don't know if that makes or uh, gives it like traitors and stuff here, but. Strengthen an area bond to increase the bond level to reveal hidden information uh, for that area on your map. Gather all the collectibles in a given area. You'll be rewarded with a completion reward. There's public order down that way. Uh, that's the old. Find medicinal ingredients. Uh, there's an apothecary looking for someone to help her. Begging your pardon, but could you lend me a hand? Oh, uh -huh, I got you, dude. I'll definitely keep an eye out, man. This village needs to resume trading if it's to flourish again. But our stores have been near picked clean while we've been in hiding. Could I ask you to bring me ingredients to make medicine? Otherwise, I'm stuck. Really? Oh, thank you. I require a red flower for the medicine. Please search the hills nearby and bring me one. Easy enough. I don't know if there's a mount in this game. Because the map seems pretty damn big. Right now we're stuck on foot. There's a mount and a glider. That's pretty sick.
Okay, I can see somebody already over here. No, I don't. I think I used up. I think I used up all of my. No, I got some shot. Okay, so export yep shows. Uh, so my first impressions are it's it's a, it's pretty damn good so far. Um, it's not. I thought it was going to be a more like single player story driven, um, you know, like regular style game like that. But this is more of a Souls like with story though. It does definitely have a bit more story than your usual Souls like so far. Uh, the combat is definitely quite... Uh, it's a bit more complicated than I thought it would be also. <clears throat> Not in a bad way. It's, 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 it's hard, though. Some of these enemies, even like normal enemies... my last shot I think this is the leader here so we probably won't be able to assassinate him in one hit there we go Ooh, we fucked up Gauntlets, we just got armor. That was a big ass sword that guy had. Also, Kai with the 10 months, thank you so much. 
solar eclipse stream. Oh yeah, Crystal was talking about that earlier. Some about the solar. Yeah, I don't. I don't pay attention to any of that stuff. I know they said that it might cause interference with uh, with shit, which would suck. So that's what I have on currently, right? Yeah. And I just got these right here. These new martial artist gauntlets would give us more defense. We don't have no shoes. We're now wearing our blade twin scarf. And we don't have anything on our head currently. So there's our... We just got... What is that? I wonder what my second weapon type should be. Okay, so we have our normal heals, healing elixir, and then... What is this? Apply... Oh, to coat your weapons. Nice. Yeah, so it's definitely very, very Souls-like. Even like with the uh, weapon... Paral or like the weapon uh, coating and stuff. It's just cool. We got the ingredients. I do want to try out the the single blade too, but that's not really my archetype. I don't believe. Happens every two hundred years. Well, Jesus. thing is when you're outside of combat you can like sprint infinitely it doesn't matter to make lots of medicine once again. Is there anything you need for your journey? It's best to stock up while you can. So do we unlock her as a... What can I help yep. you with? So now we can buy craft and sell through her. Let me see if we can sell some of these older weapons. Of course. I just uh, got a headpiece, new armor, please come again. Damn, that was really good reward, chat. So we got this, which doesn't look the coolest, and we got this traveler's garb. Melodic, holy crap, thank you so much. Dropping the 10 gifted on the channel. I really I appreciate you? it, man. All what right. can I help you with? Is there anything else? Uh, so this boosts headshots right there. Of course. And then we don't have anything for the horse yet. So crafting. 
Uh, you can craft can help you bullets, with? you can craft the shurikens, flaming whetstones, flash powder, and recluse smoke bomb. What can I help you with? Please come again. Have a cat. Don't say anything stupid, Jai. I'm trying to help it. Oh, I hear a cat. There it is. <laughs> See? See, chat? So now we're headed to Yokohama, which is quite far up north. I thought about going down and clearing out this. But I want to kind of progress the story a bit, see maybe if we can get our mount. I have skill points. Ah, here we go. Um, hold X to expend the skill points and acquire special skills. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I do got two points. So, um. See, rapid assassination allows you to assassinate two enemies in quick sets. Well, how the hell do you do it? Ooh, grappling rope assassination? That's some Batman shit right there. Use grappling rope underwater. Okay, the charm, increase intellect. Hmm. Get that. And then I want to increase my... This costs two points. Well, put, that other one costs two points too. So these are your combat styles. So I only have one style right now. What is this? So you can fight bare hand too. Yeah, so this is the combat style we have currently. So I wonder how many different combat styles there are in the game. This is a 
Yeah, barehanded. That, that shit was. An unexpected combat style for sure. Uh, we got a some kind of hawk charm huh? and a yellow lotus. Settling disputes and aiding people in need will initiate a chance encounter uh, with the people who live in the area may turn to strengthen your bond in that area. Shidori. Thanks. I know it's not much, but please accept this. Um, are you able to fight barehanded? I don't see why not. I think you just have to unequip your weapons, right? I mean, I don't know yet. Yeah, so you can fight barehanded. Damn. I don't know if it's any good. It does even have its own special attacks, too. You can press triangle to drop down and assassinate, but I got the skill to do the rope out.
Yeah, there's no way to traverse this rock side here. So Going in the water actually put out the fire. I was hoping that'd do enough damage to kill him. Got a new katana. This game like Skyrim? No. Not even a little bit. So is that katana that we just got any good? 35. Oh, that's a huge one, though. How many of you guys, like, your play style is, like, one of those big-ass katanas? Like, I don't, I've never been one for, like, great weapons or, like, big, you know, great swords, things like that. I, I rarely use them. I'm always for, like, a dual-wielding mobility type of guy. See, I'm the way I, same way. I like fast swords, too. Some people really do like those big, heavy weapons, though. Where's the permit? No one gets through here without a permit. I don't have a time to be associating with the likes of you. Go ask around at the local village. Where is it? I wonder if I could buy my way. No one can. 
What the hell are you doing? None other than Lord E is in Yokohama, and security could not be tighter. Stop this nonsense or I will cut you down. Okay, so he doesn't like the fact that we try to bribe him. If we had like the persa the persuasion skill, maybe. Okay, so search for clues. Oh shit! Ooh, we got a bow. It can be used to stealthy attack enemies at range. That's that's all they had to say, guys. And it does way more damage to the gun. Seven enemies here. I don't know why I can't get the rope from that distance. Yeah, we'll be at, we should be able to assassinate this guy.
Paul, I'm doing good today. We got a pretty, pretty jam-packed day ahead of us today, guys. We're going to be doing uh, this. Playing some more Alone in the Dark, which I'm excited about. And then um, I got one last game that we'll just be doing a few hours of later on tonight. Something new. A little indie, uh, indie dev studio reached out to me with something that looked quite interesting. So I'm hoping that we're, we're going to leave it as a surprise, though. But that will be the uh, third stream. All right, we should be able to get that guy from the other side there. So we haven't fought the boss, I don't think. Unless that guy laying down here is the boss. We haven't finished Ghostwire yet, no. <laughs> oh, is this the horse? Yes, hold on. You saved my life. I thought I was about to meet my maker. Bandits! They attacked our village with no warning. Bastards! But now, everyone else is back, thanks to you. We are in proper shape to rebuild the village. I wish to repay you for saving our village. You will find all their loot stashed in the cave at the top of the hill. If you're heading that way, you might find a little something that could be handy. What do you say? I presume you are probably struggling to get through that checkpoint. It is likely you will find a permit there. There we go. If you need a travel permit, you'd be wise to hurry. You are not the only Ronin after one. Okay, so let's see, where's the... All right, it's over this way. So this is the beginning of our Elden Ring uh, DLC training, guys. Get back into the Souls like uh, mentality.
Horse flute. Craftsman. Oh, yo, we just got some. So just like that, I just unlocked the horse. Oh shit. And we just got some really nice sword, it looked like. Yeah, this right here. Oh. I, it's like a legendary level katana. It was just laying on the ground up there, guys. I seen the icon and I went and checked it and that was that was pretty sick. Fighting going on. Guy's not my enemy, these two are. Very fast. We'll cut that one down. This katana is sick. You're a bad time. Here they come. You'll never outdo the crew. Well, well, it's getting lively around here. Yeah. Oh. 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 Someone just doesn't know when to quit. <sighs> it seems you might also have a story to tell. I know. Tag along with me, will you? This way! This way! Ugh. Come on! I'm gonna end up having to fight this dude, ain't I? The exit. All right, we got more skill points. Make our marshals hit a bit stronger. Oh, we got uh, Ronin socks. Must Our gear looks so bad. <laughs> I can feel a breeze. So bad. My pistol's quite something, isn't it? A friend who went to Shanghai gave it to me. The world's turned upside down since the black ships arrived. Who knows what will become of the samurai. If we don't embrace the best parts of the West, we'll be left behind. What was that one shit of the movie there, guys? The, the, this this time period uh, kind of reminds... I feel like it's the same time. What, was it The Last Samurai? I think it was The Last Samurai. What did I tell you? It's the exit. Stick with me and you'll be all right. 
I was in that cave looking for a permit when they attacked out of nowhere. I know I technically left my clan, but did they have to chase me all the way from Tulsa? Being a Ronin can be liberating, but I wonder if it's worth the trouble. Still, I can't believe you got attacked in there too! I've got a feeling that old Kodja might have fooled us. Well, that's the way of the world. Folks would stab their own mothers in the back if it let them survive another day. If somebody doesn't do something, this country is done for. Ah, there it is. This is the place I wanted to take you. This is all about, dude. You're some random dude I just met in a cave. So, you're on your way to Yokohama too? Well, good luck if you don't have a permit. If you're after one, I might know someone who's got some. The head of the gang of rogues that's occupying the local magistrate's house. They've been busy stealing everything that's not nailed down. He'll have some of his thugs guarding him, I bet. But you look like you can handle yourself. So, how about it? Want to go and purloin some permits? Of course. <laughs> That's the spirit. I knew you had a bit of fight in you. Allegiance uh, and allies. Some missions allow you to partner with allies whose unique skills will help you make progress in the game. Partnering with an ally indicated by the bubble icon will significantly strengthen your bond with that character. Press R2 to view a list of prioritizing favorite. Oh shit. Alright, so before we start this, let me go grab something real quick, guys. All right. So having this guy with me, his special it says uh, increases the number of bullets that can can be loaded into handguns, while also adding fire damage to handgun attacks. All right. uh, you can play this co-op. It says right here, cooperate with other players on a mission. So I think. The, there's certain missions like this that you can play co-op it seems with other players to complete missions the mission level will be adjusted depending on the strength of each player um yeah so there's co-op we can select our allies for this our equipment. Well, let's do it. Time for me to shine, eh? Oh, I can play as him too. That's sick. A 
big place. I wonder where their leaders hold up. Most of my freaking arrows right there. It's a formidable foe, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we can't kill him in one hit. one formidable Don. Tony with the super chat man thank you so much are the grandmas and dogs yeah I mean there, there, there is there was a grandma and there's been some dogs in the game not that it mattered to me I just did my thing not like we didn't do anything crazy When I said I did my thing, I didn't mean like I killed the grannies and the, huh? the dogs. Like, I mean, I did kill the granny, but not. Huh? That was smooth. It was almost a fail. Now, why don't I know how I do the chain assassinate? Because I have that ability, but I don't know how to use it. That was smooth. Oh, okay, that was, keep hitting the button. There we go, guys.
I'm going to strap have to fight these two. So we got, got some new headgear. Why do I keep hitting that? <laughs> nice. So we got this. So this is a set bonus piece. What does it go with? Eagle eyed archer. I mean, it's cool because we I wanted one of those hats, so it's cool that we have one. Um, we got the retainer kimono, which is pretty damn cool. Poison resilience. What is this? I still feel even though this one has more armor, the stats on this one are pretty good on this traveler. So I might actually hold this traveler still, mainly for the uh, the stats. Pole arm. I'm gonna sell some stuff to this guy. Don't rush. Take your time. <laughs> sure. Actually, let's disassemble weapons. That way we can get resources to craft Nothing. new ones. Well. 
is that all? Is that all? Is that all? Bro, stop saying that. Is that all? Very well. That's a lot of defense on that. Very well. Is that all? Very well. Very well. All right. So let me check upgrading equipment. Um, so why can't I upgrade this? Oh, I need more. More of the iron or whatever. So I can upgrade this, though. My single katana. Can obviously upgrade all of our gear here that we're wearing. I don't know if I want to waste some money on that right now. Don't rush. Take your time. Don't rush. Take your time. Bro, I'm leaving. Thanks. You're annoying as shit. Your oh. Bro, So there's one more formidable foe here. Ready and willing! Oh, damn it! I'm trying to think it has to be up this way, the rest of them. Yeah, dismantling the gear seems like the way to go. Uh, that way you can get yourself some more resources. <laughs> Don't rush. Take your time. Is that all? Is that all? Is that all? Yeah, we're short two of these uh, to be able to upgrade our swords here. Thanks for your patronage. Is that all? So guys, what is, I, I, I've had a lot of people come in the chat and ask me about that other game too. What is it? Noah or no, no, yeah, not no, 
or Noia. It's N I O H or something like that. Neil. Looks like you've messed up again. Oh shit. Looks like he messed up again, chat. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get a stealth attack on this dude. He's gonna totally turn around. You must have a death Come here if you were after something, right? So, what is it? Judging by your appearance, I say you lack money. Or a good sword, perhaps. Come on! There must be something, right? I know! I've got the key to our storehouse! Everything we managed to loot and pillage is in there! Take anything you want! There's this contraption we picked up somewhere. I have no idea what it is, but I bet it's valuable! No, it's true, I swear! <laughs> oh, thank you! Oh, 
never forget this. Well, if you don't mind, I think I'll go. They call me Brian the Merciful Chat. And you guys say I don't show mercy. You have been you've become more proficient um in the use of certain weapon and have increased weapon proficiency. The higher your weapon proficiency, the more skill and stat points you'll gain. I mean, can I just kill him and take the key off his body anyways? I can't believe you let their boss live. And you trusted him. <laughs> You're a soft touch. Well, as long as we can find those permits. You've got the key to their storehouse, right? Well, let's head there. I've got an idea where it might be. Come on, follow me. Bro, I already know where the storehouse is. I found it on my way in. They must be sitting on all sorts of... Let me see real quick. They all got engaged. And if I'm right, those permits will be among them. Now, what weapon did I... Full sprint assassination, that's sick. I will save up some points. Standard riding boots, bulb, and a key remedy. I wonder if those boots that we just got are any good. Yeah. There it is. So you found some permits, did you? Could you spare one for me? This isn't a mere piece of paper to get me past a checkpoint. No. This is the ticket to a brighter future for this whole country. It's a future I'm going to help forge. You know, I have a feeling I haven't seen the last of you. Maybe we can meet up in Yokohama. You could say no. There's a clock tower there in the western style. Meet me there. Ask around if you can't find me. Where's Ryoma Sakamoto? Go make it work. Well, see you around. So we got him as an ally now. And then uh, establishing the strength of the bonds by meeting and interacting with people that harbor strong wishes and desires. Strengthening your bond with the people will earn you all kinds of blessings. We obtain the glider. And we just unlocked a whole bunch of legendary gear. It was the worker's hat. Uh, let's see. Is that... I really like the way the outfit we have on looks. It looks pretty cool. 
Wise Doctor piece, bolstering effect, weapon proficiency, drop rates for pills, um, commanding champion, burn resistance. Good. I, I uh, press X uh, when jumping from a high location. This enables you to glide through the air. Uh, gliding will continue to deplete your key, though. I should be able to get through now, right? Where's the permit? Very well, you may proceed. <sighs> Army guy, what's going on? How you doing? It's like a weird mix of like traditional and then like modernized. Come on, hurry up. Is he the one that's behind the reason our sister got killed? The black ships return, seeking the prize of a commercial treaty between America and Japan. With the city in tumult, the figures who will shape Japan's future gather in Yokohama. Key recovery.
I thought I was gonna collect the whole chicken there for a second. Pretty sick. You will encounter other Ronin and towns on roads. Defeating them will increase your proficiency in their weapon and will earn new equipment. Is this guy? Oh, bitch. Hey! Wandering swordsman, you want the smoke? So you made it, did you? Hmm. It's been pretty lively here, ever since the black ships arrived and the port opened up. So, what brought you to Yokohama anyway? Well, what do you know? I'm looking for someone too, and no regular person, let me tell you. I've come to pay Showing Yoshida a visit. You must have heard the name. He's a great master whose gaze is fixed firmly on the future. He sees what we could be a century from now, and knows how to achieve it. The truth is, we studied under the same master. But now he has students of his own. You should meet him. He and his students should already be here in the city. They're an interesting bunch, believe me. <laughs> hey, did no one ever teach you to walk straight? Why, thank you, sir. That was very kind of you. My name is Takamurayama. I'm a geisha in the Pleasure District. It would be wonderful if the two of you could pay me a visit. Oh, it would be our pleasure, truly. Uh, we were just discussing heading that way. Uh, oh. What marvelous timing. See you soon! I mean, why is she walking like that, though? Great! No. Now, come along with- All right, hold on. Give me one sec, guys. Sorry about that. With me, this calls for a little celebration Wait, in are... the most fun part of town. Wait, are we actually going to the Pleasure District, though? Come on, the Pleasure District's the best place for gossip. You'll hear all kinds of rumors. And besides, you saw that woman just now, right? There are sights to see in Yokohama before I start searching for Master Shoei. You serve the Red Demon. You're supposed to be getting rid of the foreigners! Enough! Any more of that nonsense, and you're in serious trouble. Are we going to see the banana show, Things chat? are getting pretty tense around here. The Red Demon's been busy cracking down on the anti-Shogunate faction. 
What do people think blind panic's going to achieve? Oh, only the real ones in chat who've been to station or over in Japan. I don't, I don't even know. Dude. I, maybe they don't have... Maybe the banana show's they an Okinawa thing. They spending their time thinking about how we can forge Japan's future. I've never personally been to the banana show, but... Found you, Sakamoto! Don't resist oh. if you know what's good for you! Uh, come on! Give up already! of barbarians. I swear, there's barely anyone in Toza I can reason with. <laughs> yeah, or the donkey show. Ah, I think that, that's, that's more of a Thailand headed. thing, Silent. Looks like the pleasure <laughs> Doug, that's to more be. of a Thailand thing. Samurai Taka spoke about. We've been expecting you. Ha <laughs> ha, that's us. How could you tell? She said you are very dashing and that you looked good in leather footwear. I knew it was you straight away. But Doug, thank you for the super You're chat, brother. clearly very discerning. You'll make a fine geisha. <laughs> My name is Kichi. Kichi Saito. Allow me to welcome you to the Pleasure District. Oh! Before I forget, while you are here, it is strictly forbidden to be uncouth or to unsheathe. As long as it's not the donkey show, lol. Yeah, chat, you don't unsheathe or uncouth. Keep it sheathed and couth, whatever that means. You must refrain from any behavior that might stop other guests from enjoying themselves. Please, do not spoil the evening for anyone. Curious on thoughts on Neoi. I, I've never, I, I, I haven't looked into that one yet. I, I think I bought it. We just haven't played it yet. Thank you again, Doug, with another I super chat. I mean that you mustn't draw the sword that hangs at your hip. Easy. Our guests tend to quarrel about the objects Wait. of their desires. I'm sure you can guess what might ensue if the usage of weapons was permitted. Yeah, so the weapon that is at our hip, we got to keep that sheath. Now, if you would kindly follow me. This way, please. So this is the Pleasure District. We're here at last, my friend. My, my, what a place. Definitely a tale or two to be had here, I reckon. It'd be curious of your thoughts on Neo. I didn't like it myself. Whoa. The district was only ah. built after the black ships arrived. All kinds of clients come here. Think of this as a place where foreigners and samurai can mingle freely. Whoa. By the way, did you know that Tuck?
All right, I'm I'm good, chat. That is our most accomplished geisha. It is very rare for her to grant anyone an audience so quickly. You two are very lucky indeed. Why does he keep making that Please noise, though, here. chat? Taka will join you in due course. It's too much. <sighs> Won't you have some more? Oh, thank you, my Back dear. for some more. <laughs> this is quite the place. Aren't you glad we came? <laughs> Pardon the intrusion. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Please, allow me to attend to you. I have a feeling that this may well be your first time in the Miyazaki district. <clears throat> yes, that's right. This is a place of many pleasures. Enjoy, and leave the real world behind. So it turns out I saw a familiar face on the way in. <sighs> I'd better go and say hello. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He is a most delightful gentleman. Did you come to Yokohama together? So, you seemed thick as thieves, so I just assumed. May I ask, what brought you to the city? I wonder if she's like a spy. I came to see you. Goodness, that's rather forward. But I must confess, I'm rather flattered by your attention. You're not the only one. He is somewhere in the city, it seems, but nobody can find him. Perhaps we will find out soon. Well, I can't be certain, but I have heard rumors of a certain samurai who came aboard the black ship. Working here, I hear all sorts of things, you know. But before I say more, I have a little favor to ask. I want you to take photographs of the Pleasure District with one of those fancy new cameras. They say a photograph shows things precisely as they are. Well, I want this place to be captured for posterity. Do that for me, and I will tell you about the samurai who came aboard the black ship. Oh, I forgot to mention, to get a camera, you'll need to go to the photographic studio. I know, you won't let me down. She playing me, chat? Oh, I feel like she's playing us. Right, so from this point, we got to go out. We got to get the camera. We'll talk to this dude and then get a camera, take pictures. So is Yokohama... Yeah, it's this whole area here, the city.
All right, guys, but we are going to end this episode here. Um, we got a lot to do today. Still got two more live streams that we got to do, so I can't go too long on any of them. Um, so we're going to end this here. I, I had a great time with this. I did not expect it to be a Souls-like, so that definitely caught me off guard. I would definitely say it's, it does have difficulty, and I'm playing on the medium difficulty. So uh, if you're if one of those people that has a really hard time like the Souls-likes and the combat system, you could probably bump it down to the easier difficulty. I don't know how hard that one would be. Um, but it does have difficulty, so it's not stuck at, like, hard the whole time. Uh, and so far, it does seem to have a bit more storytelling than your traditional Souls game. Somebody said it earlier. It definitely is, like, a, I've only played, like, a few hours of Sekiro, so I can't really speak much on that game. But it definitely seems like it would be more, like, story... Be, it'd be, it's like a Ghost of Tsushima mixed with, um, like, Sekiro, like, levels of story. Um, I would say it's not super, super strong story like Ghost of Tsushima, but then it's not like a basic bit of story. I don't know. Sekiro can have a nice story into it. From what I see, it was pretty ba basic, though. Um, but thank you guys again. And remember, if you guys do want to see more of this, all you got to do is smash that like button. Best way to let me know that you guys are enjoying it. Um, like I said, I'll be ending this stream here and we'll be firing up a new stream um, very, very soon because I got to get in. I want to get in a stream of Alone in the Dark and then I got a little um, uh, indie game that we're going to be playing later on tonight. So, but if I don't see you guys later, you have a great rest of your night. Nick, I want to thank you for the five months, man. I uh, hope you're having a great Friday. I hope you and the family are doing well. Much love. Hey, we're definitely been a good day so far, dude. Definitely been a good day, Nick. Appreciate the love, brother. Uh, but if, again, if I don't see you guys later, you have a great rest of your day. And for everybody else, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.